Media darling and America's top doctor, Anthony Fauci, is playing some serious defense after a trove of emails blew a huge hole in his already shrinking credibility. They reveal his relationship with the Wuhan lab that is facing new scrutiny in the global pandemic that has killed millions. Senator Rand Paul claims Fauci lied to America about that lab potentially doing research that could make viruses more deadly. Dr. Fauci still denies it to this day, but in his private emails, he puts in the subject line, urgent, we must discuss this gain of function research. So he knows it's gain of function and he needs to be pinned down on this. I don't think that uh, having trust of Chinese scientists with gain of function research was very wise. In fact, it was so naive that we shouldn't have Dr. Fauci in a position of advising the US, the world or anybody else because he's so shown such poor decision making. For some reason, Dr. Fauci refuses to call out China. The idea, I think, is quite far-fetched that the Chinese deliberately engineered something so that they could kill themselves as well as other people. I mean, obviously, you want openness and cooperation. One of the ways you can get it is don't be accusatory. And the White House is standing by Fauci, despite the email controversy. We'll let him speak for himself, um, and he's been an undeniable asset in our country's pandemic response. But it's obviously not that advantageous for me to relitigate the substance of emails from 17 months ago. Jesse, don't be accusatory. <laughs> he should have had a secret server in his basement. Then he just could have wiped it like crooked. These emails are bad. I mean, he's on the record of supporting gain of function. He funded gain of function in Wuhan. He knew they were doing gain of function in Wuhan. They had scientists emailing him, eh, this thing looks engineered. And then now he's on email scrambling to see if his fingerprints are on gain of function. That's not my opinion. Those are the facts. And Vanity Fair came out with a big expose blowing the lid off the cover up. U.S. government telling investigators, don't look into this because U.S. money went into this lab. Manpower, know how, money went into this lab that ended up killing three and a half million people. This is bigger than 9-11. This is bigger than January 6th. Dare I say, Greg, this might be worse. <laughs> Not than Watergate. Watergate. Not Watergate. And the media <laughs> is complicit in the cover-up. They admitted it. And here's why. The Democrats needed Fauci so they could brand themselves as pro-science. They needed Fauci to lock everything down so they could loosen the state election laws and do the mass mail out of ballots. And they needed Fauci to point the finger away from China and at Trump so they could divide the country for the election. You take Fauci out of the picture, it's like taking a Jenga block out. The whole thing crumbles. <laughs> Well, they get to the bottom of it, though, Biden and co. Jessica, they've got what they're looking into it. I absolutely think that they will. I think the fact that we have moved away from the WHO already looked into it to we're going to look into it ourselves, and there's bipartisan support for that. I see no reason that President Biden uh, would stop that in any way, and Dr. Fauci is supportive of that as well. To Jesse's point, well, first, I love that now Hillary isn't even Hillary. She's just crooked. I assume we've dropped her birth name. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Second of all, uh, you said that the whole Jenga tower falls, which included the mail-in ballots, which I believe means you're alleging that the election was fraudulent. No, I'm saying it helped loosen the state election laws because everybody had to stay home during the lockdown. You didn't need to lock everybody down. You just needed to isolate the elderly. The rest of the country could have gone about their business. And Fauci was warned to do this by scientists. We saw the emails and he ignored it. Well, Dr. Waters has spoken on that. Yes, and he we'll, has. We'll, we'll come back to that. <laughs> but from looking at the emails, I, I think that some of it definitely doesn't look fantastic, but he was on with John Berman. We showed a little bit of it. And he talked about that email in February, and he clarified that obviously if he had known what they had known in April, in May, that he would have told uh, Sylvia Matthews Burwell to wear a mask on a flight, and that we were getting new information from the scientific community as it went along. But I totally agree so that science wasn't settled. No, it wasn't settled. Oh, but so like global settled. warming's not settled. N no, global warming oh, is pretty settled, well settled. But this science isn't Stop settled. Stop playing a I game with it. me. Uh, <laughs> but anyway. <laughs>
but Shannon, just on the surface, the most reasonable explanation was, gee whiz, there's a virology lab right in Wuhan while the horseshoe bats lived in caves hundreds of miles away. But instead, the media and Tony Fauci bent over backwards to lean on a hypothesis that wasn't as reasonable and logical as, oh, it came out of a lab that had safety problems because Xi Jinping talked about it. Well, and that gets back to this Vanity Fair article that Jesse was talking about. It makes some explosive allegations that people within the State Department were actively telling people, shut it down, don't dig there, don't go there because you're going to open a Pandora's box. You heard Dr. Fauci again today saying we have to be careful with China because we need to be able to cooperate with them. It's been over a year. They haven't exactly been transparent with the WHO or anyone else. I'm listen, Dagan, I like you grew up in the South and we believe you get more flies with honey. But when the flies are full of committing human rights atrocities and not giving you any information, it's time to get rid of the honey and maybe go with some Tabasco or something maybe a little bit stronger. Yeah, the Communist Party, Greg, if they're uh, talking and breathing, they're lying. Yeah, you know, the this is the funniest part of the story is they, they mentioned the phrase Pandora's box. That lab literally is a Pandora's box. They opened it, it got out. So the idea, like, I, I always wonder how many investigations are stopped when somebody says, oh, that's a Pandora's box. It's like, maybe you should open the Pandora's box and see what's going on in there. Look, we talked about this last week. One of the reasons why they wanted to blame the wet markets is not just because of the lab, it's because we're involved in the lab. We have money there. We were thinking, you know, originally, oh, the, the, it's the Chinese, it, they're protecting themselves. No, we're actually trying to protect ourselves because we, if we're invest, I mean, these are our experts, these are our scientists. If this was, consider if this were the plot to a movie, right? Scientists and government engage in highly controversial and risky uh, research. Two, there's an accident. Nobody's saying that this was deliberate. Right. Uh, Fauci kind of blends that together. So this research accidentally is unleashed into the public a dangerous pathogen, right? The scientists and the experts and the politicians scramble to protect their vital research and cover up the plausible cause. If that were, that's a Michael Crichton movie, it, but it's not, it's real. And I think that's why you have to have an investigation. Is Fauci the villain in this? I, I just think, He's an overly diplomatic bureaucrat. The real vil villain to me is the media and the Democrats, A, for pushing impeachment exactly, exactly as the virus was exploding. Countless lives were lost because they hated Trump. And number two, labeling anybody a racist who dared to criticize China. That, that helped, that, that steered the debate towards something totally stupid like a pangolin, which still sounds like a musical instrument I wouldn't <laughs> want to play. But it does have scales. Oh, whoa, oh. brains! <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I, I would laugh, but I'm in awe of that. But just before we go, will Biden? Because to get to the bottom of this, Joe Biden and company, all the liberals, will have to admit Trump was right. Yeah, they can't do that. Mm -mm. They can't do that. Also, there's a lot of money at stake. If there's going to be lawsuits. You can't sue China. If it's the lab, you got to sue China and America. Yeah, and the funding started during the Obama-Biden administration. We need to, we need to post-impeach Obama. <laughs> that is possible, right? Good luck. For this. Yeah, good luck with that. Jessica, and, and we're going to impeach Obama. <laughs> well, we're going to go to break, and then we're going to talk about <laughs> what the feasibility of that happening. Well, um, before we go to break, though, I'm going to add that I think any Medicare for all, any government-run health care is now dead, because you look at Tony Fauci, and who would want some you know, spotlight-seeking, power-hungry career bureaucrat who's some fame floozy deciding who gets to live and People without dies. insurance would still prefer that. No, they wouldn't. No, that's the emergency room, Jessica, please. Yeah. We all have health care in this country. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.